Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to generate QR code using Java. Here is the agenda of this video. First, we'll see what the problem statement is and we'll see what is QR code followed by how to generate QR code using GBrock crossing library. And we'll also see what are all the other libraries which can be used to generate the QR code. So let's get started with understanding the problem statement. So in retail shop, shopping malls, in grocery shops, you know, people wanted to know more information about the products or goods they select, right? So, but that information might not be, you know, uh, present on the product itself, the entire information. So maybe the information might be more, a lot of information, right? So all that may not be present on the products. And once the product is selected, people go to the billing counter to get the product billed, right? So there in the near the billing counter, billing guys might need the information about the products uh, uh, they wanted to bill, right? So like product numbers, serial numbers, batch numbers, all these might be present on the product, but how do they enter that into the billing system? So it takes long time to enter that into a system. And also it's a tedious job, right? Entering, uh, provide, entering the information into the system manually. So that's a tedious job. So what's the solution for that? So the solution is to use the quick response code, which is usually called as QR code. So what does it mean by, right? So it's a grid arrangement of the black squares on a white background. So that can be read by, read by an imaging device like smartphones, scanner devices, and so on, right? So how does it look like? Let's see an example. So this is how the QR code looks like. And this is called as two dimensional barcode, right? So lot of information can be, you know, encoded and can be represented in a QR code form like this, right? You might be, see, you might have seen this code, right? Near the, near uh, like uh, most of the uh, grocery shops, uh, uh, shopping malls, restaurants. So you, you might be seeing these codes uh, to pay uh, amount or the money online, right? So uh, you might be have seen uh, at various locations, these types of code. So this actually can represent any text, web page, URLs, anything. A lot of information can be encoded and put it into a in simple form. You can see, right? This is a QR code form. And there is another form called linear barcode. So which we call it as one dimensional one. You can see that here, right? And as an example, so which is usually used to represent the number, numerical information, right? So which has a, uh, like, which can only store the limited amount of information, but the 2D one, the two dimensional barcode. So you can see it, right? So you can, we can actually store a lot of information into that. So we said the data is encoded. And then uh, it is actually generated a QR code for that, right? So what are the different encoding modes? So there are different uh, encoding modes like uh, numeric only where the possible characters used for encoding will be zero to nine. And the maximum characters that can be encoded is seven zero eight nine, right? So in the same way, you can see different encoding modes here in this table. So we can use alphanumeric, we can use binary, we can use Kanji or Kana, which is a Java, uh, which is a Japanese script. So these are the different types of encoding modes used to encode the data into QR code. Finally, we are going to see how to generate the QR code now, right? So how do we generate the QR code for a given data, right? So we are going to use a third party Java library called Zebra Crossing, which is represented like Z cross ing, right? And this is a popular API, which allows to process the QR code. So if you are using a Java project, right? So you just need to add these two jars, Jetcross ng core jar and Jetcross ing Java SC jars. So these two jars should be added to your Java project. So the links of which I have provided in the description below. So you can just download these jars and add to your Java project. And if you're using a Maven project, then you can just add to your pom.xml these two dependencies. And then you are ready to, you know, write the code uh, to generate the QR code, right? So now let me show you how to generate the QR code. 
So what all we need? First, we need data. So what data you wanted to generate the QR code for, right? So what I'm going to do here is, so this is my YouTube channel. So I'll just have this information, this URL I wanted to generate the QR code for. And then where you wanted to generate the QR code. So QR code is an image. So I wanted to generate the QR code at some location. So which location? See, maybe I have a directory here. So I'll call this as techstack9.png is my path, right? And the car set, if we wanted to set the car set, we can provide the car set and then I'll call this method generate QR code, generate QR code and pass this information. So URL is my data. What's the path? Path is path and then care set. And we need to provide the height and width. It's a two dimensional one, right? It is square. So you, you, you can provide height and width for it. So I'll just provide it as some 200 comma 200. Right, so add exceptions to the method signature. That's it. And finally, what we'll say do is just for our confirmation, we'll say QR code generated successfully. Now we need to provide the definition to this generate QR code method. So how do we actually generate the QR code for a given data, right? So for that, we need to create an object of multi-format writer. So multi-format writer is a class. So in which encode is a method present, right? So using this encode method, we are going to encode the given data into a barcode format, which we wanted, right? So data, first parameter is data, you can see here, right? So encode actually takes data, barcode format. For that, we'll use barcode format dot QR code and then provide width and height of the QR code, right? So this actually encodes the data and this encode method returns, you can see here, it returns bit matrix. So bit matrix is a class which represents the 2D matrix of bits. So let's capture this into bit matrix. And once we generate the, we encode the data, right? So we wanted to write it into a path, right? We wanted to generate an image for it, right? So what we are going to do for this, that is matrix to image writer dot write to path. What you wanted to write bit matrix and what's the format, format of the image you wanted, right? So you can just hard code it like here or we already provided it in the path, right? So let's read it from the path itself. So how, how do we read it? We'll just, we'll just take a substring of it and then get the last index of dot. Right, this actually gives us the, this extension, extension of this image, all right. And then finally, we need to provide the path. So you, you can see here path object, right? So we have the file object. So what we'll do is we have the st string of it, right? So paths dot get off, we'll pass the path, string path. That's it. This should generate the QR code. So what did we do? We just created an object of uh, multi, multi uh, format writer and used the encode method in it, pass the data. And what's the barcode format we wanted? Pass the width and height. And then we are writing this bit matrix into the, into a file, uh, into a location where we wanted, right? In a format, which we wanted, the image format, right? For that, we use the class called matrix to image writer, right? Now, let me execute this. So it has to generate the QR code here in this location, right? So this is empty now, QR demo. So 
So it says QR code generated successfully. Yes, we have the QR code here, right? So you can see the QR code here. So this is the QR code generated. And if you wanted to it to be uh, still bigger, so you just need to modify the width and height accordingly. So we just give the dimensions as 200 comma 200, right? So if you wanted it more bigger, then you just increase the size, width and height, right? So this is how you actually generate the QR code, right? Now, let's see how to read this code, right? So how do we actually read this code? For that, we need the path, right? So first thing is we need the path. Path of the image, where the QR code image is present. So it's present in QR demo. Text tag 9.png. Right, so the QR code is generated and so if you can take any smartphone and you can scan that, right? So nowadays uh, smartphones uh, have the ca inbuilt capability in their cameras to scan the QR codes, right? So if you can scan the QR codes, so then you should be actually getting the URL, URL of the YouTube channel, right? So you can verify that way. And we are also programmatically verifying the QR code, generated QR code, right? So we wanted to get back the text or the URL by reading the QR code. So that's what we're trying now, right? We have the path now, and then we need to create a bit binary bitmap, an object of binary bitmap. So binary bitmap, uh, you know, uh, it's actually uh, used by Jetcross ING to represent one bit data. So the reader objects accept this uh, later. We'll, we are going to use this binary bitmap uh, to the reader objects. So reader objects accept this bitmap and attempt to decode the actual uh, data, right? So which actually takes, you can see it here, binary bitmap takes binarizer, right? So we are going to use hybrid binarizer, which is used like uh, designed for high frequency images of barcodes. Uh, with black data on the white backgrounds, right? So we'll use hybrid binarizer, which again takes luminance source. So I'm going to use new buffered image luminance source, which actually buffered image luminance source is a class which is extending the luminance source, which is an abstract class. And finally, we'll use a method called read image dot image io is a class in which read is a static method to read the image so let's read the image file input stream of the path the actual path where the image is present so this is how we actually so let me get this down here So this is how we actually read the image, right? Add exception to the method signature, all right. So what does this, this is actually binary bitmap object, right? So let's actually capture that into a, an object, binary bitmap. So we have a binary bitmap, binary bitmap, so this is the class, which is uh, the core bitmap class, which is used by the Jetcross ING to represent one bit data, right? So we need to pass this to the reader object. So let's pass this to the reader object. Again, new multi-format multi reader. We use multi-format writer to write, right? To generate the QR code. We are using multi-format reader to read the QR code. And we use the decode method earlier we used encode to encode the data now we are using decode to actually decode the data from the qr code right and pass the binary bitmap here so decode returns decode method returns result result object right so let's capture that into result object import this from 
జెట్ క్రాస్ అయ్యింది సో నౌ వీ హ్యావ్ ద యు నో రిజల్ట్ ఆఫ్టర్ డీ కోడింగ్ ద క్యూఆర్ కోడ్ సో లెట్స్ ప్రింట్ దట్ ఆన్ ద కన్సోల్ అండ్ వెరిఫై లెట్స్ ఏ డేటా స్టోర్డ్ ఇన్ ద క్యూఆర్ కోడ్ ఈస్ వాట్స్ ద డేటా రిజల్ట్ డాట్ గెట్ టెక్స్ట్ ఐఎమ్ ఎగ్జిక్యూటింగ్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ నో and you can see we got back the url so once you click on it it should actually take you to the to this particular url right yes so it actually read the qr code correctly right so this is how we can actually generate the qr code using jet cross ing java library and also this is how we can read back the qr code right so now let us actually see other libraries with which we can actually generate the libraries uh, with which we can actually generate the qr code right so there is another library called barbecue which is again a open source li uh, library java library which can be used to generate the linear barcodes mostly we use uh, barbecue library to generate the 1d or linear uh, barcodes next comes barcode for j this can be used uh, to generate both 1d and 2d 2d matrix or 2d barcodes right and the last one is qr gen which is actually built on top of uh, the zebra crossing library so we can use this qr gen library as well to generate the qr codes or the barcodes right so in this video we have seen like uh, we started with understanding problem statement we have seen what is qr code and then we have seen how to generate the qr code how to read back the qr code and also what are all the other libraries uh, uh, present or can be used to actually generate the qr code so that's all for this video thanks for watching